one of these aircraft collided over the Barents Sea in 1987. Since then, though, we've been able to take a rather closer look at this mighty aeroplane, the Sukhoi Su-27, the flanker. interesting display to watch mark it's not your standard fighter displays if it looks every inch the heavy fighter that it is yeah this is an absolutely enormous aircraft it, it got airborne there with a, a takeoff weight for its display of 45 pounds
of the things it, it, it gives you the impression of is that it's actually flying slow, but it's not. It is flying at typical fast jet speeds here, between 350 and 450 knots. Uh, obviously, with the, uh, the faster passes uh, up to 600, the slow pass now down at about 150 with the undercarriage coming down. Um, so one of the things we were concerned about when this aircraft first came onto the scene is gauging its, uh, its energy levels in air combat. One of the manoeuvres that Soviet test pilots amazed audiences with, with first the MiG-29 and then the Su-27 at Western displays, was the tail slide. We saw it in the West for the first time, would you believe, 30 years ago with the MiG-29s at Farnborough. anything a tribute to the engine performance of the aircraft, the two Lyulka or now Saturn AL31F turbofans. Here comes another. <laughs> All of the control surfaces working in the opposite sense as you uh, as you slide backwards. So left rudder actually moves the nose to the uh, to the right, and uh, up elevator actually moves the uh, nose down. So quite a difficult manoeuvre. Um, but uh, no doubt the controls lock centrally as the aircraft flies itself out of that manoeuvre. But the engine's working incredibly hard to suck hundreds of litres of air into it, despite the air wanting to go in the opposite direction. It's still not something I've ever seen performed by a conventional, a non-thrust vectoring Western fighter. seven former Soviet Air Force Su-27s and they carried on serving in the same roles in Soviet times. Most of them are based at Mirhorod in central Ukraine with the 831st Guards Tactical Aviation Brigade from which this aircraft comes. It's the main provider of air defense for the country. There's another smaller squadron of flankers at Otserna in the north. When Su-27s and other Ukrainian Air Force aircraft undergo a general overhaul, they receive this new so-called pixelated camouflage pattern which is applied in blue on the Su-27s. Very attractive it is too. This is a modernized one, a Su-27 P1M. At very slow speed indeed with the air brake deployed in exactly the same position as the F-15. so you can kind of tell where the lineage of the designers of the Bureau actually uh, got their ideas from. 
The upgrade I was just talking about adds a satellite navigation system, a new instrument landing system. Crucially also for international operations, a transponder that's compatible with international standards. was handed over in March 2012. The work was done in country at the Zaporozhi State Air Repair Plant and the upgraded aircraft were accepted for service in August 2014. Ukraine has been engaging very much with the West in recent years and links between its air force and those of numerous Western nations have been greatly developed in recent times. The aircraft flown today, as it was last year, by Colonel Oleksandr Oksanchenko. He's been the Ukrainian flanker display pilot since 2011. He's got around 1,050 hours on type. reading some of the documentation we get to see um, relating to the aircraft and their display routines in advance of the show and um, some of the details for the flanker talk about what uh, they get up to on the course in the course of a normal day's operations and as far as air combat training was concerned it said they would perform 1v1 dogfighting 2v2 and then melee <laughs> that's what we call a monster as the aircraft rolls out you see the, uh, the giant air brake uh, with some aerodynamic braking and then two parachutes will come out to uh, retard the aircraft. Great to see back in the REACT flying program then for the second successive year from the 831st Guards Tactical Aviation Brigade of the Ukrainian Air Force was Sukhoi 227 P1M. Well, just 